If God was willing to sit down with you personally and allow you to air your questions and reason through your doubts and pose any challenge to him, would you take him up on his offer? Would you be willing to investigate his claims and understand his purposes with an open mind? Would you be willing to believe him if he told you the truth? Friend, he's given you just such an invitation. In Isaiah 1 and verse 18, God says, come now and let us reason together. You know, God isn't intimidated by your questions, and he isn't surprised by your doubts. In fact, quite the opposite is true. He is fully aware of every detail of your life, and still he invites you to approach him personally and reason with him through your life's deepest questions. I hope you'll do just that through this video series. Find a quiet place, open your heart, and consider the message of the Bible. It's a message that's diluted and distorted by religious systems, but it is simple and powerful to the human heart. You see, there's a message in the Bible, one with incredible implications for your life, but you won't find it in the pulpits of most churches or on the pages of many Christian books. It's a message that is understandable to a little child, but missed by so many full-grown adults. It's a message that is verifiable by intelligent reason, and yet only acceptable by simple faith. And it could change your life forever. It's frankly the most important message you will ever consider. It's literally life and death. So, could you spare a few minutes to understand this message? I don't know where this video series finds you or how it came to you, but I do not believe it's an accident. Perhaps you are searching for some answers about life. Perhaps you're cynical of organized religion, but somewhat curious about the truth of God. By now, you suspect that there's more to this life than just time, you know in your heart that you are more than just a body. There must be a purpose, a reason for all of this. There must be hope. There must be more than just birth and life and death and this endless evolutionary cycle randomly headed nowhere. You must be more valuable than that. And your future must mean more than that. Deep within, we know these things because they're written in our hearts. They're etched into our consciences like deeply woven threads, impossible to remove. These realities are a part of our spiritual genetics, our DNA. We know we were created because the world shows intelligent design. We know our creator must be good because he created so many good things. And yet we live in a world with pain and problems. We live with nagging questions and doubts. We live in a world where God has given us enough information to know he exists. But deep within, we long for more. We know there's more. We, we know that, that there must be more. And you know what? God promises to give us more if we'll seek him. Are you willing to consider the thoughts that God truly does exist and cares about you? Are you willing to see reliable evidence and consider what that might mean for your life? What if your conclusions about life and death and eternity are established on faulty information? Suppose for a moment that there truly is a God. Suppose that he created you and loves you intensely and imagine that he has a perfect and eternal purpose for you but that you are now held hostage by a ruthless enemy whom you cannot see and who's bent on destroying you. Imagine that this loving God is on a rescue mission to save you and that this, this is all going on behind the scenes of your life, behind the visible wall of the day-to-day -day existence. Maybe you've never given it a moment's thought. If you could know for sure 
where you would spend eternity. If you could forever put away every fear you have ever had, if this incredible loving God were knocking right now at your door, offering to rescue you from it all, would you let him in? Would you open the door? Would you even give him a chance? Wouldn't you want to know this kind of God? If being loved by God matters to you, then all I ask is that you give him a chance to connect with your heart through these videos.